Welcome back to another weekend project from Make Magazine. I'm Kip K. Have you ever had a problem with people snooping around your stuff? Maybe trying to walk off with some of your personal items? Or maybe even walking off with your precious lunch from the company fridge? Hey! Well, today we're going to make a cheap and easy booby trap device that tells them, get away from my stuff. Find a fun little talking booby trap project by Bob Netzer in Make Volume 16, and it's on page 60. Probably the only thing you'll need to buy for this project is a recording module from Radio Shack. You'll also need a plastic top from a gallon milk jug or orange juice. You'll need some aluminum duct tape, some double-sided tape, a 9-volt battery, some super glue, a rubber band, a zip tie or two, and a small strip of metal. Oh, yeah, and of course a clothespin, which is what everything's going to be mounted to. But first we're going to take it apart by removing the spring, and then we're going to flip the spring around so it basically just acts as a fulcrum. Then we'll take our small rubber band and wrap it around the other end. Now, you don't want to make it too tight or too loose, so it'll take some experimentation to see exactly how many turns you need in order to make the clip work right. Then our small little strip of metal is going to kind of act as a support uh, that that'll go under the object that we're trying to protect. So you're going to bend that in shape. Then we'll tape that to the clothespin using some of our aluminum duct tape and cut off a few more strips of aluminum duct tape as we're going to cover both ends of the clothespin, which will act as a switch. Now, this switch needs to be wired, so we're going to use a couple of small pieces of wire, I'll say three inches long, and we're going to attach those to each of the jaws of the clothespin using some more of our handy aluminum duct tape. Now it's time to test out the module and see how it works. Step back from my briefcase. By using that plastic milk jug cap and putting it over the speaker, it actually creates an enclosure which increases the volume of the speaker. So we're going to take some super glue and we're going to glue that cap onto the speaker. And now it's time to wire up the recording module and the first step is to remove that little cap that serves as the playback button because our clothespin jaws are going to serve as the new switch which will activate the speaker. And after you've soldered the two wires to the switch on the board, it's time to test it out using the clothespin. Step back from my briefcase. And now everything needs to be assembled. So take some double-sided tape, or you could even use Velcro, and attach the 9-volt battery to the clothespin. Then attach the circuit board to the 9-volt battery. And then attach our speaker to the circuit board. And tuck everything in nice, and uh, you could use a zip tie to just zip everything up nice and tight on our new talking booby trap. And here's how it works. Find the object that you want to protect and place the talking booby trap underneath it. And then as soon as someone removes that object... Now, of course, the best way to use the talking booby trap is to cover it with something so... No one can see it's there, whether it's behind your lunch in the refrigerator or protecting your briefcase. Uh, no one will know it's there until they remove that object. The other thing you can do with this talking booby trap is remove the microphone, unsolder it from the board, and solder in a little mini audio jack where you could plug a cable in and plug it into your computer, and then you can put sound effects or sirens or other things like that on it. So that's the talking booby trap. Go ahead and build it. It's an easy and fun project from Make Magazine, and we'll see you next week with another weekend project.